to a new video or welcome if you're new. Sorry about my hair. <laughs> I just showered and I'm gonna be styling it, but I want it to air dry first. It's a little, uh, a little kooky right now, I'm not gonna lie. So let me put a part in it because I, I, I can't. You guys cannot see me like this. But happy Monday, you guys. It's the start to a new week. I had the most weekend weekend ever. Oh, also, I have a bunch of pimple patches like all over my chin. Cause I have a bunch of like weird white heads and I have an event later. So I just wanna like try to get rid of them a little bit. Anyways, I had the most weekend weekend ever. It stormed all weekend. The hurricane came through, which was nothing more than a rainstorm and an earthquake. We actually did have an earthquake and that was crazy. I have felt that was the third earthquake in my life I've ever felt. Two of them have been in California. One of them was actually in New Hampshire. I was very young. I was like maybe 10 or 11, 11 or 12. I was in middle school actually. So yeah, like 11 or 12. And I was in guitar lessons when I felt it. But it's past time. And I felt a few months ago too. It was in the middle of the night. This past time was crazy. That This was like probably the most intense one I've ever felt. I thought, because it was like amidst the hurricane, and there was not, okay, hurricane, it was like not a hurricane where I was at least, but it was like decently windy, nothing crazy, like I was joking to people who were like freaking out, I was like, every storm in Florida is considered a tropical storm, like I promise you, we're fine, um, and it was like, the wind was like the same wind that like you get in Florida if it like is sprinkling, you know, but here it is like a big deal and you know, like the power lines aren't made for it and that's why it's a bigger deal here. But anyways, um, it was like decently windy and so I'm sitting on my couch reading my book and all of a sudden I feel the building kind of sway and I look out the window and like the trees were kind of moving and I said to myself, like in my head, I was like, dang, this building is not very sturdy. If wind like that is moving the building this much, like that's kind of crazy. And then, like as I'm having that thought, um, I I almost sort of feel like, like I sort of felt like I was uneven, like I was like, I don't even know, like I can't explain it, but like I felt a weird sensation in my body and then all of a sudden the building started to, it literally felt like jello. So like it felt like the bottom of the building was like this and then the top would follow. Like, think about Jello. Like, literally, the building felt like it was like, ooh. And as I'm like, so then again, I was like, dang, wind. And then as I'm thinking, oh my god, this like this building is moving a lot for the not much wind we're having. I was like, oh my god, it's an earthquake. And as I'm thinking, like, oh my god, it's an earthquake. I look at my phone and I get like the alert that there's an earthquake happening. And then it was over. But like. So like I had so many thoughts in that short period of time, but I thought it was the wind at first and I was like, oh my God, this building <laughs> needs like some support beams because it feels like it's gonna fall, but it makes sense, it was an earthquake. Anyways, um, the hurricane was totally fine and Saturday, what did I do Saturday? What did I do Saturday? Oh, I had a movie night. Oh, okay, there we go. <laughs> Friday, hit, this was my weekend, Friday, I went to an event, well, I went to Teddy's Red Tacos, which is, they have such good birria tacos. They have a bunch of locations in LA. Um, oh wait, was I vlogging Friday? I might have been vlogging Friday, but yes, I was. Okay, so you guys know this, but I went to get Teddy's, went to an event, went home. Saturday, I um, got coffee, and then later in the day, I my girlfriend came over and we ordered pizza and wings, and we sat and watched a movie and ate pizza. And then I, wait, Saturday night. Okay, yeah. And then um, Saturday night, I slept over at my girlfriend's house. Sunday morning, we went back to my apartment. We made oatmeal and coffee because this was like the hurricane was yesterday. And then I cleaned, whatever. My girlfriend came back over later in the day. I made us dinner. I made us this really yummy shrimp creamy tuscan shrimp recipe and it's half baked harvest i got her cookbook and i made it out of that and it was really really yummy and then we watched another movie 
last night. It was the most weekend weekend and it was like perfect because I started my period and I, for some reason my cramps were like really, really bad this time. Like yesterday they were horrible and all I wanted to do was lay. I literally spent most of my day yesterday reading. I'm about to finish my book. I think I have like 60 pages left. So yeah, it was just a very nice relaxing weekend. I didn't work out. I barely left my apartment. It just, it felt great. But today we are back in action. You guys saw this morning, I did my normal morning routine that I always tell you guys about. Got coffee, went on my morning walk with Augie, and did a little workout, or I came home with breakfast, it was really, really yummy. Did a little workout, I actually cut it short because I remembered, well I knew I had a telehealth appointment with my endocrinologist who's back in Florida. Um, I'm working on getting one here, don't you worry, but I've had this telehealth appointment for three months because I knew I was gonna be moving here. Um, and so anyways, I had that and I thought, it, or I knew it was at 2 p.m. but I forgot that it was 2 p.m. Eastern time, which means 11 a.m. for me. So I cut my workout short, got on that call. It took about like a half hour, 45 minutes. Everything is good, which is amazing. All my kidneys and liver and all my kidneys, both my kidneys, my liver, my cholesterol, everything else looks great. I have a good A1C. Um, everything is good. Anyways, um, then I showered and got dressed. I'm just wearing a comfy outfit because I'm just laying low until later tonight. I have an event. I'm going to the Baby Gravy album release party, which is super fun. It's at like a sandwich shop, which is like interesting and I'm excited. I hope we can eat a lot of sandwiches. So that's the thing for today. And then in between there, um, I need to run to CVS because I need paper towels and I want to get a uh, like lip liner um, sharpener, like a pencil sharpener because I want to line my lips tonight and my lip liner has been dull for like months and months and months. But I never really line my lips very much, especially since I got my lip filler dissolved. Like I, I just don't because I think it looks kind of silly on my lips. But my friend Natalie, you guys know Natalie, she posted this picture and her lips looked so pretty. I was like, what did you do to your lips? And she just said she lined them, rubbed it in with her um, finger and then put a clear gloss on top and I tried it as best I could on Friday with like my dull pencil and it already looked really cute just doing that so I'm gonna get a sharpener so that I can like do it for real for real so I gotta run to CVS and then I think I ugh, maybe I'll do it tomorrow because tomorrow I don't really have that much to do I'm not sure yeah I probably will do it tomorrow so I think I'm gonna edit a vlog today. My other thing I could do is I have all my recital DVDs from when I was a kid and I'm gonna get them transferred to a digital file because right now they're on DVDs and like, it's just, it's crazy to me that this is a thing, but like no one has DVD players anymore. And they're just a little bit obsolete. So, and that's like, that baffles me, but I'm gonna get them um, like transferred to something. I don't know if it'll be a USB because those are kind of obsolete too. So I don't know if it'll be like just a file on the computer. I really don't know how it'll work, but I want to do that this week. But I think I'm going to go tomorrow because it's already 1230. I'm going to make lunch and then I do want to edit a video. And then the event starts at like six or seven. But normally with events, like I start getting ready like a couple hours before because it take, I want to take my time on my makeup and I always take some time picking out an outfit. And then I also, also always like to leave time to make TikToks while I'm like actually dressed and ready because, well now it's common, but it used to be far and few, but I do like to just like take advantage. And I feel like you guys like my content on TikTok whenever I'm like dressed up a little bit. So I think I'm just gonna hang out at home and uh, do some editing for today. And then if I have extra time, oh, I also want to film a TikTok, a dance TikTok. So if I have some extra time, I will um, maybe like write a podcast episode or something, but we'll see. And then I think tomorrow I'll do the transfer. But anyways, as I wait for my hair to dry a bit, I'm going to make a little bit of lunch, which I'm not quite sure 
what I want to make, I need to throw out the re leftover feta pasta that I have because I st <laughs> still haven't thrown that out. But I think, do I still have a can of tuna? I kind of want some tuna again. What? I did not think I ate both. Oh, I guess I totally did. Shoot. I didn't realize I ate. Dang. Now my whole plan is thrown off. Let me brainstorm. Okay. I decided that I'm going to make a sandwich. So I figured we could make it together because who doesn't love a good sandwich idea? So I made this the other day and it was really, really yummy. But I'm going to start by putting mustard on half of the bread. Also, I, for the most part, prefer my sandwiches untoasted, depending on what it is, but like almost always, I like a cold sandwich or a cold sub versus a hot one. And then I'm gonna take this roasted red pepper hummus and I'm gonna get like a little bit of the inside of it too. And I'm gonna put this on the other side of the bread and then I have this goat cheese with honey. And my God, this goat cheese is so yummy, you guys. You have no idea. And I've been putting on everything. So I'm going to take it and I'm just going to kind of crumble it onto, it's like flying everywhere. Crumble it onto the bread. Um, I don't really think, I mean, you could try to spread it around. Maybe if you had like a really sturdy piece of bread, it would be better, but this bread is super soft, so I'm gonna leave it chunky. Oh, I'm spilling it. Next, I'm going to take some of these sun-dried tomatoes that I have. They have been my recent hyperfixation. I've been literally putting them in and on everything. <laughs> Put those on the bread. And then I'm going to take three slices of this hickory smoked turkey breast. And this is a tip I learned when I worked in a cafe. If you fold it like this, no part of the sandwich will have like no meat. So like ideally you'd put four pieces, like one there and one there, but I'm just gonna do it because I don't care. But when you do this, it makes it so that every bite has like a good bite of turkey. And then I'm going to top it with just a little bit of arugula. I love arugula. And then to finish it off, I'm going to take some balsamic glaze and just do a nice drizzle. And then I'm gonna close her up. And I'm gonna cut it in a triangle. Yum, look how good that looks. Oh shoot. <laughs> I forgot to put avocado and cucumber on the sandwich. I put the cucumbers on the side. I'm gonna try to get the llama cucumber falling. Um, I'll eat the cucumbers on the side, but I am gonna try to put the avocado on the bread. I'm back in the bathroom because I want to run through my hair routine with you guys because I have gone through it a lot, but I feel like every day I get so many DMs, comments, just like so many questions about what I use in my hair, what I use for my hair, everything like that. Also, these are like giving me the creeps because it looks like I have like weird wrinkles in my chin. But, also, this whole, like, none of this is going to be sponsored. This is genuinely what I use. Um, so, first and foremost, for my shampoo and conditioner, 
I use the Amica Normcore. I started using this a long time ago. I literally don't even remember when, but I started using it because my hairdresser used this on my hair and I really liked it. So I just, my first bottle I literally bought from her and this is like the best shampoo ever. I will probably never switch. I've been using, this is probably the longest I've ever used a shampoo. It's amazing. And then in terms of like shower products and whatnot, once in a while, I will use this Amika Soul Food Nourishing Mask and I'll use it after shampoo, before conditioner. And I use this maybe like once a week-ish, but also like I just got this maybe a month or two ago, so this is not something I've been doing for long. But I do feel like when I use it, um, my hair is just very silky and smooth for like the next few days. So really, really love this stuff. It's like a nice hair refresh. And then when I get out of the shower, I first start with this KMS Tame Frizz. I put a couple pumps in my hand and then I start at my ends and I bring it up to the top. And this stuff is really, really great. I have been using this the same amount of time as the Amica Normcore Shampoo. I started using them at the same time. And this is like phenomenal. I've repurchased this so many times. I love it so much. And then I, this is also maybe something I've done the last couple of months. But after that, I put this Amica The Wizard Silicone Free Detangling Primer in my hair. And both of these are heat protectants. So I put this, I just like spray it all around my head and brush through. Even when I'm not gonna style it, I always put this in. And then when I finish, like right now, when I'm done with my hair, I take this Jizu Honey Infused Hair Oil and I've been using this for a very long time. I think I've been using this longer than I've been using Amika, honestly. And I just run it through the ends and it just makes the ends feel very soft, very smooth. And I also put that in my hair. Um, like I, when I'm not gonna style my hair, when I wake up the next morning, like for day two hair of unstyled hair, I put that in my ends cause it does like kind of calm all the frizz and just like make it look pretty again. And then in terms of brushes and whatnot, these are the two brushes that I use they're gross because I've had them for so long um, but I always use a wet brush for my hair and if like anytime I brush my hair I always start at the bottom and brush to the top always 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 I never start up here like I'll go like this and then once that's untangled I'll slowly make my way up like that and then I'll brush all the way through but I never just go like that ever like makes me cringe and this I use for when my hair is wet, I'll brush through with my wet brush and then I use this side of this comb and I make my part and then when I'm not styling it, I'll like brush through it one more time with this. And then for styling my hair, I do have some TikToks up on my account of me drying my hair. I will link them in the description of this video just so that you can watch if you're interested. Um, but I take, and this is also really gross, in fact, ew. But I take this Dyson Air Wrap and I go through my hair in layers. I'm like multitasking, cleaning the hair out of my sink at the same time. But I go through my hair in layers and what I will do is I like, I take a strand of hair and I brush under and loop it like that and then I brush up and loop it like that and I like my ends flipped kind of out, but when you do it both ways like that, it just makes them look like this, just like very bouncy and healthy. And then when I get to this top layer, I take the sections and I dry them like this. So I go under here and over here, and that is what gives you like the volume at the root. And then I go back over and do the same strategy as like the rest of my hair. And I have been styling my hair a lot, but I really don't style it that often, which I think is how I'm able to keep my hair so healthy. Like, I really will only style my hair unless I have like a lot of events, like a couple times a week. Usually, I like I will at this point really only style my hair if I have something important to do, like in the day. 
because for the most part I just let it air dry but yeah that's what I do I also get my hair cut like pretty often that's another question I what I ask for when I go to the salon is long layers and face framing I go to hair by Kaylee B at hair by Kaylee B um in Hudson New Hampshire actually Nashua New Hampshire so nowhere in Florida nowhere in California literally in New Hampshire that's who cuts my hair and I will continue to fly to her um but yeah that's it's what I got for you guys I think next time I get my hair cut I, we might do like some curtain bang type things like maybe not like so so short but shorter than we've done like maybe like I don't know I don't know we will see but anyways that's my hair care situation this is my hair it's also not dyed anymore I used to have blonde hair I, I went through the painful process of growing and cutting and growing and cutting and growing and cutting until I had all my natural hair back it took probably about two years but this is all my natural color I do like these front pieces will lighten up a lot and get kind of blonde and then like my brown hair has a lot of red in it so I have like a very interesting hair color it always looks different depending on like how much sun I've gotten what lighting I'm in things like that but that's that I know my hairdresser has had girls come in um and like ask they'll show a picture of my hair that she's posted and ask for that hair color and she's like that's her natural color but um I don't even know what you would ask for if you want a brown like this. I've never dyed my hair brown, so I don't even know. But anyways, my hair doesn't look the best today. It feels a little bit heavy. I think I put too much conditioner in. So not the best day to tell you about my hair, but you know, it all still applies whether it's a bad hair day or not. <laughs> Before I sit down to edit a vlog, I need to make a hot cuppa, a warm cup of coffee to drink while I sit there. So I'm gonna use my mug from Hawaii again. And I'm gonna do 12 ounces, I think it'll fit. My hack is pour in whatever cream you wanna use before or during the brew because that way it'll mix in and you won't have to waste a spoon. But also you guys, I don't think I mentioned, but I'm making my own, is it kefir or kefir? I'm not sure. I'm making my own. Um, my girlfriend's stepdad makes it and he gave me some of his, I'm gonna call it kefir even though I think it's kefir, whatever. He gave me some of his kefir grains and we had our first glass of it yesterday and it's really strange to get used to. It's a lot different than store-bought because it's kind of like, uh, like kind of like kombucha, like that fermented flavor, but it's milk. So it's kind of like, this is a strange flavor, but it's really, really good for you. Really, really good for your gut. And it's really easy. So yeah, I've been making my own keeper, but I'm going to sit down and edit. It's 149. So already I'm going to start getting ready kind of soon. Like it's kind of crazy because life in LA, like a lot of things happen at night, which I'm not used to because I have never been really someone to go out for dinners often or go out often. But in LA, like my work events are like usually at night. So it's like this whole new adjustment. Um, but you start getting ready like kind of midday because I usually start around like dinner time ish. Like they usually start around like between five and seven and whatever. It's just funny that I like, I just got ready for the day. I'm going to do some work and then I'm going to get ready for work technically, which is like at night. So I just feel like it's just funny, but I'm going to enjoy this coffee, sit at my desk and edit, but I can't talk to you guys while I do that because I need my camera to export footage. So I will talk to you guys in a little bit and we'll see what's up then hi okay it's a little bit later i did my makeup i'm just wearing like very natural makeup you can see i also touched up my hair haven't picked out my outfit yet because i still have a little bit before i have to leave and 
yeah, I'll probably get in it soon, but I do think I want to wear this skirt that I just got from Madewell. This skirt right here. It's, I went to the release for this, like, um, line. It's the Madewell X Molly Dickens, or sorry, Molly Dixon, um, line that Madewell has. And I went to that event and a bunch of the girls had been gifted this skirt and I was like, I need. So I ordered it myself. I didn't realize it's actually a skirt, which is so amazing because my one issue with these skirts is just like, you can't move in them when they're so short, but it literally has built-in shorts. But for some reason, my jeans that I got from the same line from Madewell um, fit perfect. And then I got both this skirt and a pair of jeans over there in the same size and they're both big but I can make do with the skirt I'm gonna like do the little trick where you button like you put the button through the first loop and then you button it and it doesn't look weird with these it looks cute and I might exchange it later on or at least try is that really bad of me I just I, I don't know I don't know <laughs> I really want to wear it tonight um and then I'm thinking possibly I might wear this sweater with it but this is like pretty cropped so I don't know I don't know but if I do wear that I'm gonna wear these boots right here and then it's like but then it's like kind of wintry and it's like but it is like 60 something degrees out tonight I don't know I have to see how I feel when I put it on but yeah another option would be like I don't know I think I really want to wear that skirt though so We'll just have to find a top that goes with it. Hi guys, back from the event. And I actually didn't stay for too, too long, but it was fun. There was really yummy sandwiches. It was at this sandwich place called, it was called Giada. My God, the sandwiches were so good. Like so, so good. We didn't stay too, too long. But then my girlfriend came back here and we hung out for an hour, two hours. And I had a snack, I had some yogurt and a cookie. And now it's 11 o'clock, I'm about to wash my face and go to bed. I'm gonna read a little bit in bed, but go to bed. <laughs> I am so tired and I know as soon as I start reading my book, I'm going to get even more tired but tomorrow, what's going on? I don't think I'm gonna vlog tomorrow, but I'm going to wake up, go on a little morning walk. I don't think I'm gonna walk to the coffee shop tomorrow, tomorrow morning. Um, I think I'm just gonna go for like just a general walk around the area. And then work out, get ready for the day. I'm gonna edit. For a little bit and then I need to be in Malibu at 6 but because I have to be there like during rush hour I probably have to leave around like 4 or 4.30 so I'm going to start getting ready like kind of early so I'm going to get up kind of early get my day started um, but like I gotta kind of my day is, it's just so weird when events are like around dinner time because you start getting ready like midday. It was always so strange. Not that that's an event, it's a photo shoot, but I'm shooting, um, I have a photo shoot with my friend, Hannah, who we go way, way back. Um, I think I've known her since 20, either, yeah, yeah, 2020. I've known her since 2020 but I haven't seen her in so, so long. So, we're doing a shoot together and I'm excited, it should be super duper fun. And I'm really full from the sandwiches and everything. But I'm gonna wash my face and pop this zit and then I will talk to you guys really quick before I go to bed. Okay guys, I'm gonna go ahead and end off this vlog here because I'm so tired. And I look like a crazy lady, but 
Love you all so much. Thank you so much for watching today's video. I really hope that you enjoyed. And I will see you guys so super soon.